Call of Duty World War 2. What can I say about this game? After I've been playing the multiplayer beta for the last couple of weeks on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, I am happy to announce that this game brings it back to its roots. No more jump pack, no more rule runs. It's just simple running, walking, and just jumping into cover. No more of those futuristic stuff, which I am so happy with. After a crap game for Infinite Warfare and a decent game for Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare and a pretty crap ghost game, nothing to say. This game just fills me with delight whatsoever. And after playing through the weeks, this is my preview for this game. And without further ado, guys, let's get this started because I've got a lot to talk about. First of all, I want to talk about the maps that was in this beta. There was three throughout the two weeks. The first uh, week there was only two, which was Gibraltar and Point the Heart. And then second week we had Archman, or Archman, whatever you say it. Uh, Gibraltar is like a medium style map. Archman was like the longest range map which we've seen right now, which has a lot of corridors, a lot of open area. And Point the Heart is your like close quarters combat area, which has uh, trenches and like buildings to go into. And I like those maps, they're pretty fun for what it is. And shotguns for Pointer Hawk, LMGs for Ackman and Gibraltar's SMGs to rifles is brilliant. I can't wait to see what the maps are going to bring in World War 2. I'm just so excited. Next is the guns. The guns, I'm going to say, they were good to awesome. This gun here, the Thompson, I'm calling it the Thompson, but it's like the M19 something. Which is also one of my favourite SMG guns in this game, including the Type 100 and the PPSH, which is awesome. Not only that, the shotguns are actually a lot more useful in this game compared to the others. Because, like, futuristic games doesn't work with shotguns really well, but in this game it works so well. The Winchester and the M23 shotgun, which is the double barrel shotgun, works really well. Point to Hawk is probably the best map for the shotguns, I'm not gonna lie, it is awesome. Next is the playstyle. Now, as I tried out um, Gibraltar, Archman, and Point the Hog, Gibraltar is best for medium to short range guns. Archman is good for like, mid range to long range guns, and Point the Hog is mainly used for close quarters. And I like that because I, I have to change my playstyles every game if I want to, which is awesome. Next is kill streaks. Like, there was a lot of kill streaks to choose in this game, but my personal highlights were the glide bomb, where you glide a bomb down to a, onto, onto the actual map and kill someone. Paratroopers, which is like like rats, but in um, paratrooper form, where you, they, these soldiers come down by parachute and you can kill, they kill you, kill guys for you, which is awesome. And the flame flow, which is your typical flame flow, you get a burning, uh, hef heavy mess of goodness, and you just kill guys with it. It's awesome. It has a long range of you know, it has a good you know damage point as well, which I like. And if you die, you can still use it, which is awesome, until, you, until it runs out. The next thing I want to talk about is Divisions. Now, Sledgehammer decided to change things around with the creative classes. Instead of a pick 10 system, we have now got Divisions, where you get 5 Divisions to choose from. You can choose one for your game. And each one has different abilities, so let me demonstrate. Uh, inventory, you know, that's mainly designed for riflemen. And you get a bayonet and you get extra attachments, which is awesome. Airborne. SMGs, perfect. You get a suppressor, and you get and you can climb and sprint faster. Armored is basically MLMG. You get a bipod, and you get a bazooka. Awesome if you like, you know, your LMGs and you like shooting things down. Awesome. Mountain is your sniper. You get to hold your breath, and you can see enemies faster, which is awesome if you like to snipe down enemies and you're good at with a sniper rifle. It's awesome. And finally, the expeditionary is shotguns one of my favorite classes and one of my favorite divisions in this game because you get if you get the shotgun with the expeditionary you get um incendiary shells extra magazine and you can be immune to shell shock which is awesome and if um you get attacked by a kill by a people someone's kill streak or score streak actually you be getting less touch less uh, damage which is awesome and I like the uh, division system. You can change it wherever you want. It's your playstyle. It's amazing what you do with it. Nice work, soldier. Next is the graphics. Now, this is set in World War II, and the graphics on this game looks amazing. I love like the whole things with you know the bullet holes and the whole scenery. It looks just incredible. The only couple of things is just the texture problem. The texture problems. 
So the next and final thing I want to talk about is the game modes. Now in the Bayer there was your simple TDM, Domination, Hardpoint and Mosh Pit which actually Kill Confirm was actually in the Mosh Pit for the second week which was pretty cool nonetheless. However my personal highlight is War. War is your objective based game type. Now if you're the attackers you have to do certain things to complete it. But if you're the defenders you have to defend it. For example the attackers have to capture a point then you have to build a bridge from start to finish then plant a bomb and then hold it and then escort a tank to the end and the defenders has to do the opposite which I really enjoyed that whatsoever I love the way that you know if you're the attackers you have to think before you actually receive these objectives for example building a bridge I use sniping because I can kill these other guys then go to the bridge and build it and you actually get a hammer to build the stuff which is pretty cool nonetheless There's, that's one of my favorite game modes I don't know what they're gonna add it into World War 2 when this game comes out in November, which I'm really excited for. However, what did, what did I didn't like about World War II's multiplayer? Well, the only things was gun tuning. A couple of guns need tuning. For example, the toggle action and the Bren. They need to be tuned, which sucks, but I hope they will, they, I hope they will do it sooner than later. And the kill streaks need to be tuned a little bit. Some of them are just like, oh, what the hell? Why is it so OP? But honestly, so hopefully they're going to do that sooner than later. And finally the servers. 90% um, of the times they work fine. The 10% is when you finish the game. They, it sometimes gets you, brings you back into the logo after the actual beginning of the game. Which actually kind of sucks. But that's only like a, like a minor complaint whatsoever. So on a whole with Call of Duty's World War 2's multiplayer. I think this is going to be one of those games that I will play a lot of. And I miss this boots on ground shooters, like, after, you know, the last game was COD Ghost, which was a letdown, but my favourite was Black Ops 2, because it was a lot more cooler, a lot more boots on ground, it was just so much fun. But I cannot wait to play this game in November 3rd, and honestly, playing it with my mates and playing it with the campaign and the uh, zombies, I cannot wait to see the final product, and I cannot wait. So yeah guys, that is it, that is my preview done for Call of Duty. World War 2 and honestly I cannot wait to play it so yeah please smack the like button for this all of my social meetings are in the description down below any comments any feedback you want to do thank you so much guys for watching this no fully I'll see you guys next time so there peeps bye bye